In I went to Tennessee in 69. Winston was only 100 miles away over in Cookville, and uh, we became friends. I guess mm -hmm. through the Midwest is where we That's met. That's right. We met in Chicago. But mm -hmm. uh, in the spring of, of 70, at Easter weekend, he and I and uh, Jim Garrett and uh, Dave Keene. Who was, who was teaching North Cuba Texas, at North Texas at that time. We all met at Tennessee Tech at Winston's place, and we partied for the whole weekend, and we played quartets. And all every we all brought all this manuscript stuff that we had, our own arrangements, but mostly. Mm -hmm. And we read stuff. We photocopied everybody's stuff. Uh, was it photocopy in those days, or was it mimeograph? <laughs> it was oh, was remember that blue stuff? That okay. you <laughs> well, anyway, we went home with <coughs> each had a hundred charts, and I was able to start a tuba ensemble because mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. He had already had one, and Connie Weldon had one, and uh, Dan probably did by that mm -hmm. time, too. I I've been know. doing a tuba symposium since 1968, I think. It was the first time that I had a tuba symposium. A dozen or so, then each year, 30 or so, four, end up being 100 or so. And um, Harvey found out about this. I'm not sure what particular point that I was doing this. On, I call it the tuba symposium. Uh, and this was uh, pre-TUBA, and it was pre-any of the mm -hmm. international things. Harvey found out about it. says, man, that just sounds great. Uh, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, Harvey, I just don't have any funds, man. We just do this. You know, he says, I don't care. I'm going to be there. And so for the next 20 years, he came. Then Dan found out about it, and we started inviting Dan down. And so Harvey and Dan were just and permanent we, guests at that. And then, then we, we started Nick. getting Brian Bowman in and... Uh, uh, various euphonium artists and things, and for, for but, years and years, this went on for 20, I'm, we're still doing it. And you for, remember, we, 40 had, something years we, later. Had, we had Michael Lind, was a student here, oh, yeah. Chitati Kagawa, we flew him in, you'll see pictures on my wall, and that's how that got going in Japan, and to spin it off of that, Michael Lind was, you know, I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Yeah, right? yeah. But anyway, that that's a, a, a really good thing, that's how we started to go over to Europe. Now, one thing I'll tell you about the Europeans, I mean, they still, there still was a lot of resistance, and they formed their own little one, you know, the German tuba form, which is fantastic, but at that particular time, you know, there was a lot of Americans in their country playing tuba, and these guys were good, you know, it was a little bit, of, uh, you know, it was hard to get them convinced, that, hey, we don't need a foreigner doing this, and we can do well for ourselves, and that was basically the attitude. But two guys over there, like Michael Lynn and Ducci and Chitati, still, they have the biggest, uh, the HETA organization in Sapporo is one of the biggest, <laughs> they have more members than anybody, you mm -hmm. know. And they have these symposiums going all the time, which is show up, you know. That's how that got going in Europe, you know. Always wanted that international ring. And, mm -hmm. How you know, does the you know, three of us met again? You, you, you reminded me last night. Well, everything was in Chicago. After we got all this going, all this stuff centered around the Midwest Clinic because everybody was going to the Midwest Clinic. Why? Because we knew Bill Bell was there, we knew Arnold Jacobs and was there. And lots of beer. And lots of beer and... And um, contacts. We got and, beer yeah. and, and beer golf. And beer golf. golf, right. Yeah, or Miller's Pub. So, yeah. but so that was that was the that was the, that's what drew everybody into into Chicago. Said, so, well, that's the most logical place to have these original meetings. So, uh, even though Jim was a hundred miles away from we me, we we met in Chicago, you know. Yeah. But then from then, of course, from then on, we were back and forth all the time. But and we met Danny at that point too. This is like 68, 69, mm -hmm. 70. 60. Well, I had met him before he was uh, famous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> but that's the early days.